What's up, guys? I actually just recorded the entire video that I was going to do right now, but I forgot that there was a front facing camera on the Galaxy. So I was trying to set it up the other way, and then I played the whole video through, my head was cut off. So, yeah. Anyway, since uh, Paranormal Activity 3 is coming out, I just thought I'd give a retrospective on Paranormal Activity 2 and just discuss my preview and thoughts of Paranormal Activity 3. So I saw Paranormal Activity 2 around the same time last year and it wasn't good. I mean, I probably wouldn't have bothered to make this if I just wanted to praise it the whole time. Anyway. So, I mean, if you're si watching this video, you may or may not actually know what happens. I mean, I've never seen Paranormal Activity 1, but I'm assuming 1 and 2 are pretty similar. Because in 2, it's about... Well, the first one's about two sisters who get haunted. And the second one's about one of the sisters who moves out and then goes into uh, another house where she's living with like her husband and her baby and her dog. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so it starts off when they're like moving in and the whole movie is structured in the way that it just goes from like one day is one scene, another day is another scene, another day is another scene and then it gives you like a little helpful count that says this many days until they're all dead. Which, alright. <laughs> so, you know, so they start moving in, and then there's this one scene where, like, they go out to eat, and somehow the door opens, and, like, a gust of wind comes through, and, like, destroys everything. And I guess they thought it was a burglar, so when they come back, they install the security system, because up until this point, the entire movie was being filmed by, um, like, the father using a camcorder and that's the whole gimmick that there aren't any external cameras like this was all real footage that was just somehow acquired by the makers of this movie and used for commercial purposes for a whole family that was viciously murdered which definitely wouldn't happen in the first place <laughs> so you know they installed the security cameras so at this point the movie basically takes over to only showing the security cameras and you'll basically see like each each scene is organized into a day and then in that day you'll see like the morning, the afternoon, and the night so every day you have to like go through the morning, you have to watch all the diff like you'll pan through all the ca uh, security cameras and you'll see that nothing's happening in the afternoon you'll see that nothing's happening, you'll see like the dog lounging around or um, I don't know, sleeping see the baby like rocking in his crib and then at night you may see something like uh, like a picture frame falling and that's the whole uh, gimmick of the house is haunted where like slight things happen in the you know in the house so basically I mean there's not really much to talk about because nothing really happens in the movie it, and at one point they they do this other like <laughs> stupid scene where they're all at a pool party and then the father is talking to one of the other guys and he goes like yeah I just got this uh, cool HD camera so that's why I'm filming it and it looks so good you know because obviously someone with a camcorder is not going to come over very well on a movie screen if you're trying to believe that this is all real so he just has a really cool HD camera that somehow works as well as a multi-million dollar film camera or however much they cost but uh, the movie's pretty short as it is, it's maybe like an hour and ten minutes I'm not sure, someone's probably gonna correct me but like I said, there's nothing else to talk about it's just that it's all building up to literally like the climax and the ending are simultaneous because in one night you see out of nowhere like it's just showing the security cameras and like everything starts to rock more than usual 
all the little things that are like rocking around in the house at night that's supposed to be the the ghosts and then I, mean, I was kind of asleep at this point but I guess something jumps out and then it, like the baby disappears and the dog starts barking and then they tell you that they all died and that's the whole movie up until then you just saw a random rattling of baby cribs and dog bones being thrown across the living room. I mean, that's all there is to say. I just don't know how someone could be so entertained by this, where, as, as like a horror slash suspense thriller, I guess you would call it. I mean, yeah, the, it puts you in suspense, kind of, but there's not really much of a payoff. And the suspense isn't really that great. I mean, there are a lot of movies that do everything better. If you just want a movie where you want people to pop out and scream at you, you can find better movies, because that'll be more scary. And if you want movies that are more like psychological, you can find movies like that, you know, like uh, Zodiac. That was pretty good. So, I just feel like Paranormal Activity 3 definitely isn't worth any money to see at all. <laughs> I, mean, I know they're going to stay in the same formula, because it's proven to work, apparently. Uh, apparently, I was suckered into it too, so you can see where they're coming from. So, do you guys have any thoughts on the movies? Or just want to tell me how wrong that all was? Thanks. <laughs>